Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you and I just want to say, Heavenly Father, how I'm at such a loss of words, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I take this moment and I just want to pray. I want to pray, especially for the family of George Floyd. For Heavenly Father, no one deserves to die the way that that man had to unfortunately die. Heavenly Father, I just pray for his family right now. I know that they must be going through such hurt and such distress and that it must be so painful during these times, Heavenly Father, but I pray that your love be with them, that your peace be with them, and that you protect over their family, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I take this moment and I just pray for justice, Heavenly Father. I know, Heavenly Father, that we live in such a broken world, Heavenly Father, but that does not mean that we should have to deal with the things that we deal with, with a system that can be so flawed, Heavenly Father, so flawed, Heavenly Father. I just pray for justice. I pray for your discernment. Heavenly Father, I pray for you to lead us, lead your communities, lead your people in the way that glorifies you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we always need you, and I know that you are always with us, but we so need you right now, Heavenly Father. We need your discernment in our lives. We need your protection in our lives. Heavenly Father, as people are out there peacefully protesting, Heavenly Father, we have voices that need to be heard. We need change, Heavenly Father, and we just pray for you to watch over us. We pray for your protection that when we're out there and we're protesting, that you are with us, God, and that you protect us. For those who do get harmed, Heavenly Father, I pray for them to recover. I pray for you to be with them during those times and that although they may be feeling pain, that they can remember that you are with them, Heavenly Father. It is so important, Heavenly Father, that we know that you are with us. And it's so importantly, Heavenly Father, though, that we speak. Heavenly Father, I will admit that I don't know how to navigate through these times and I don't necessarily feel like I know the right thing to say or the right thing to do, Heavenly Father, but I will not let fear hold me back from speaking, Heavenly Father. I will not let fear hold me back from doing whatever I can, Heavenly Father, because Heavenly Father, I know that I will never understand the struggles that my brother will have to face in his life as he grows up or that he's had to deal with. And I will never understand, Heavenly Father, what the members of the black community have to go through on a day-to-day -day basis when they live their lives just because of the color of their skin, Heavenly Father. I know I will never understand that, Heavenly Father, but I am with them and I stand with them, God. And I will do whatever I can to be there for them, Heavenly Father. I will speak and I will do what I can because I will not let I will not let the enemy get a win by being silent. I know the wrong thing to do, God, would be to be silent, and I will not be silent. And I pray, Heavenly Father, for your strength, for your discernment, and your guidance. I pray that we all have the strength to speak out. I pray that we all stand up for what we know is right, and that, that we all understand, Heavenly Father, that we have a voice, and our voice is important, and our voice is a tool, Heavenly Father. I pray that we speak up, I pray that you are with us, that you strengthen us, that you guide us, that you lead us, and that you protect us, Heavenly Father. We need to be heard and we need change, Heavenly Father. And I know and I trust that you are with us, that you are walking with us through all of it, that you will protect us and you will guide us through this, Heavenly Father. I love you so much, Heavenly Father. Thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for all that you do for me. I just know that the world really needs you, God. We always do, but in times like this especially. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.